Hi everybody, Brett here. I hope you're ready to color outside the lines because we'll be using grid paper to help tell us where to add color to the curvy drawings that we make. Here's what you'll need. If you don't have graph paper, you can make your own. Make marks a half an inch apart on each side of your paper. Then, draw straight lines from side to side and top to bottom. Your sheet should be filled with squares. Our project inspiration is a weaving called Untitled Flower Grid. Weavings are made of warp threads going up and down and weft threads going side to side. If you look closely, you'll see how the threads overlap, forming a tiny grid. Weavers will often sketch their designs on graph paper before completing them on the loom, planning out the size, shape, and color of the threads. In Untitled Flower Grid, Matson uses the grid as part of her design. She shows us that in a weaving, even rounded shapes, like flowers, must be made out of smaller squares and rectangles. Let's try it. Draw rounded shapes, like flowers, on your grid paper. When finished, use paint or markers to color in each square. If the lines of your rounded shapes fit inside the square, fill it in. This means you'll be coloring outside the rounded shapes in some parts to fill up each square with color. When you're finished, you'll have a blocky, pixelated painting and an idea of how a weaver gets started. Share your paintings with us. We'd love to see them.